Hi, everybody. Today we are in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. And for a long time, Mount Pleasant was known as the phosphate capital of the world. In 1895, a brown phosphate rock was found here, and it would go on to produce some 25,000 tons a year of phosphate, and it was a booming industry. For instance, in 1895, the population of Mount Pleasant was just 466. By 1900, it was over 2,000. Today, we're right around 4,500, and the phosphate industry was important to the town all the way up into the 20th century. Now, they've moved on to different things. Real estate is a big boom here because of its proximity to Nashville. Also very important to my family as the phosphate industry that I talked about earlier was the one that my grandfather worked in. He worked at the Stauffer chemical plant that was located here in Mount Pleasant. And now we're gonna go into the Mount Pleasant Visitors Center and it happens to be staffed by a family friend and coworker of my dad for many years at Bell South, Miss Becky. I'm going to put you on YouTube, Miss Becky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's fine with me. <laughs> Now we're going to show some of the older homes in town, ranging in age from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. So for our last stop on this little tour of homes in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, the former phosphate capital of the world, is this house right here. And you may be saying, well, Aaron, it doesn't look particularly old. What's the significance of this house? Why are you showing it to me? Well, it has significance for me because it was in this house that my parents got married. And Miss Becky has had some pretty famous people come through her visitor center, and I don't know that we stack up to American Pickers but she took our picture just the same. So we had a fun day in Mount Pleasant. Thanks for watching, everybody.